we want to bless God for the opportunity to come to you at this hour. And we want to thank our Pusha Daddy, Daddy Oba Fonshua Yenlua, for this wonderful privilege to minister to the flock of God in Lagos 159. I pray that your anointing shall continue to increase more and more in the name of Jesus Christ. The topic the Lord has given to us tonight is wonders of his name. Wonders of his name. And our text is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. It reads, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Shall we pray? That wonderful name, Jesus, hallelujah, that wonderful name, Jesus, hallelujah, that wonderful name, Jesus, there is no other name I know. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you, sir. We want to thank you for the name that are both every other name that are given unto us. We want to thank you for the wonderful name of Jesus that are given unto us. Father, we are grateful and say by thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ. Even as we gather unto you at this hour, even to hear and to, 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 to study the power behind this name, that it let your revelation be clear to us in the name of Jesus Christ. And as we pray in this name tonight, let there be answers for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And the people always say louder, Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ has so many names. Just like God the Father has so many names. In giving a name, there are three or more possibilities or scenarios that we need to consider. In giving a name, there are three or more possibilities or scenarios that we need to consider. Number one, a name can be a signpost of your origin, your background, or where you come from. A name can be a signpost of your origin, background, or where you come from. Number two, a name can also be a description of the present state, condition, or experience of the parents. A name can also, can also be given as a result of a description of the present state, or condition, or experience of the parents. And number three, a name can carry the hopes, expectations, and aspirations of the parents for their lives and for the child tomorrow. A name can carry the hopes, expectations, and aspirations of the parents for their own lives and also for the child as well tomorrow. It will interest you to know all these possibilities are present in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For example, number one, we said a name can be a signpost of your origin. According to Isaiah chapter 11 verse 10, according to Isaiah chapter 11 verse 10, our Lord is called the root of Jesse. This is the origin that blind Bartimaeus traced our Lord Jesus to when he needed his attention in Mark chapter 10 verses 40 to 49. Mark chapter 10 verses 46 to 49. He needed the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ. And because there are so, so many multitudes, he shouted at the top of his voice, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And when Jesus had his roots, 
when Jesus had his origin, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. He has no choice than to stop and see the person that knows him to his root and of course to attend to him. This will lead us to our first prayer tonight. You will pray. Jesus, thou son of David, attend to me tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, thou son of David, attend to me tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, thou son of David, attend to me tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, the labos, kaye, baseke, boshataya. In Jesus' name, we pray. Jesus, we attend to you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two possibility. We said a name can be the description of the present state or condition or experience of the parents. The name of our Lord is called Wonderful. As we read in our text. It's called Wonderful because everything about his birth is wonderful. His conception is wonderful. The circumstances surrounding his birth is wonderful. Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 35 is our witness. Uh, of course, you can also read Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 21. And that is why those who are connected to him experience wonders. If you are connected to this Jesus, if you are connected to this man called Wonderful, you also will experience wonders in every area of your life. That is why you will pray the second prayer this way. Jesus, because I'm connected to you, let me begin to experience your wonders in every area of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, because I am connected to you, let me begin to experience your wonders in every area of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord Jesus, because I'm connected to you, let me begin to express your wonders in every area of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, because I'm connected to you, let me begin to express your wonders in every area of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. And thirdly, we said, a name can carry the hopes, expectations, and aspirations of the parents for their lives and of, and of course for the child. So thirdly, our Lord is called Jesus, the name we all know him to be. Because according to Matthew chapter 1 verse 21, Matthew chapter 1 verse 21, it says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Meaning, before his birth, he has been named Jesus. Meaning, Savior, which was the expectation and the purpose of his heavenly father for him. The name Jesus means Savior. And he is so named because he is to come to save his people from their sins. And which he fulfilled. Hence, you and I are saved today. Praise the Lord. Now, to our next prayer. Which I believe is not for, for everyone. Our next prayer is only for very few of us. Hallelujah. Yes, we know that we have been saved. But if you discover you still battle with one sin or the other, or you still battle with one habit or the other, or you still battle with one sinful habit or the other, you need to cry to him tonight to save you. And I'm believing God that he will hear your cry in the name of Jesus Christ. So you cry to him, say, Jesus, have mercy on me tonight and save me from every of my sinful habits in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, have mercy on me tonight and save me from every of my sinful habits in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my Father, my God, please have mercy on me tonight. Have mercy on me tonight 
and save me from every of my sinful habits in the name of Jesus Christ. Have mercy upon me tonight and save me from every of my sinful habits in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Again, our Lord is not only a savior from sin, he can also save from evil. He can save from danger. That's why you call on him. Say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me and save me from every traps, every dangers ahead of me that I cannot see. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me and save me from every dangers, every traps that is ahead of me that I cannot see with my naked eyes. Save me, O oh Lord. Save me, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, from every dangers ahead, from every traps of the enemies ahead, that I cannot see with my naked eyes, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, Rabos, Kaye, Baseke, Boshataya. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. And save me, my Father. Save my household, O oh Lord. Save my wife. Save my husband. Save my children. From every dangers ahead, from every traps ahead that we cannot see with our naked eyes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. As we are praying, so shall it be in the, in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now, what are the specific wonders of His name? Now, what are the specific wonders of his name? Remember, our topic is wonders of his name. So, what are the specific wonders of his name? Number one, the name of Jesus is full of power and authority. The name of Jesus is full of power and authority. Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 and 10 tells us that God has given him a name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every name should bow. Of things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. What does this mean? It means the name of Jesus has the power and authority of God backing it up to command obedience whenever it's been mentioned. It means the name of Jesus has the power and authority of God backing it up to command obedience wherever it's been mentioned. You need to know this, brethren. That there are angels that will go to work to enforce or to carry out whatever the assignment the name has for them. There are angels that will go to work or enforce whatever assignment the name Jesus has for them. That is why I want you to pray again tonight. I want you to believe God with me that as you are calling that name. Angels are being put to work, and the angel will answer to you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. So you are going to pray. Say, Jesus, from now on, let your name answer to me right now. From now on, let your name answer to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name answer to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name become potent in my mouth from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord Jesus, let your name become potent in my mouth from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name begin to answer to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name begin to answer for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name become potent in my mouth from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name become powerful in my mouth from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name become powerful in my mouth from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be thy holy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. I pray for you that from now on, the name of Jesus will become potent in your mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. 
the name of Jesus will become powerful in your mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number two, specific wonders of his name. Prayers are answered in his name. Prayers are answered in his name. John chapter 14, verses 13 to 14 is a witness. John chapter 14, verses 13 to 14 is our witness. He said, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Now verse 14, He said, If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. That's our Lord Jesus Christ speaking there. He said, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. You are going to pray. I want you to believe this prayer that you are praying, brethren. That the one who promise that whatsoever you ask in his name, he will do. Have faith in him. And pray boldly tonight. And call on him. Say, Jesus, it is only your name that I know. Jesus, it is only your name that I know. It is only your name that I have. Please do not fail me. Answer all my prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Answer all my prayers, O oh Lord. Let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord Jesus, it is only your name that I know. It is only your name that I know. It is only your name that I have. Please do not fail me in the name of Jesus Christ. Please do not fail me in the name of Jesus Christ. Answer all my prayers tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Answer all my prayers tonight, my Father, my God. Answer all my prayers tonight, my Father, my God. Answer all my prayers, my Father, my God. Answer all my prayers, my Father, my God. Answer all my prayers, my Father, my God. Answer all my prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. It shall be so in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. He will answer all your prayers by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever is your request, He will answer you speedily in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number three. Sicknesses and diseases are healed at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ. Sicknesses and diseases are healed at the mention of the name of Jesus. You are going to pray. <laughs> Say, Father, let your name bring healings to my body. Let your name bring healing to my soul, to my spirit tonight in the name of Jesus. Come your mother and pray. Oh, my Father, let your name bring healings to my body, to my soul, to my spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord Jesus, let your name bring healings. Let your name bring healings to my body, to every part of my body that is sick. Oh, let your name bring healings to my body. Let your name bring healing to my soul. Let your name bring healing to my spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are going to pray, say, Father. Let your name bring healing to anything and everything that is sick in my life. Let your name bring healing to anything and everything that is sick in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my Father, let your name bring healings to anything and everything that is sick in my life. Let your name bring healings to my marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name bring healings to my business in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name bring healing to my finances in the name of because your finances can be sick, your marriage can be sick. Oh, cry to him. Father, let your name bring healings to anything and everything that is sick in my life. Let only bring healings to my business in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Let your name bring healing to my marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name bring healing to my ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be the Holy Name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Number four specific wonders of his name. Satan and all his hosts. Satan and all his hosts bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Satan and all his hosts, name, I mean, namely, powers, principalities, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places, witches, wizards, oh, name them. They all bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says, Philippians chapter 2, that we read, Philippians chapter 2, verse 10, he says, that God has given him a name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. All things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Demons tremble at his name. They bow. That's why I'm believing God that every forces of darkness that say they will not let you go at the mention of the name of Jesus tonight, they will leave you in the name of Jesus Christ. I say they will answer of you in the name of Jesus Christ. They will answer of your life. They will answer of your family. They will answer of your wife. They will answer of your husband. They will answer of your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will answer of your business. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And number five specific wonders of his name. Miracles happen at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ. Because his name is miracle. His name is wonderful. That is why when there is need for a miracle and you shout the name Jesus, miracle happens. And believe God for you tonight. That miracle will happen in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Every miracle that you desire for your joy to be full. Every one that you desire for your joy to be full. My Lord Jesus will make it happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord Jesus will make it happen in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now lastly. Because this is very crucial. This is the cause of the matter. How do I invoke the power in the name of Jesus Christ? How do I make his name to work for me? How do I invoke the power behind the name of Jesus Christ? Number one. You must belong to him. Oh yes, you must belong to him. It is only my children that has the power and authority to use my name. So for you to have the power and authority to use the name of Jesus, you must belong to him. You must belong to him. You must give your life to him. John chapter 3 verse 3 is our witness. Number 2. You must know the power in and behind the name. You must know the power in the name and that is behind the name. What is the power in the name? What is the power behind the name? You must know that when you call or mention the name Jesus, you are calling God to walk. Mm. You must know that when you mention or call the name Jesus, you are calling God to intervene. You must know that when you mention or call the name of Jesus, you are calling God to fight. You are calling God to arise in His majesty and defend his, the name of His Son. You must know that everything that makes God to be God is backing up the name of Jesus. You must know that one. That everything that makes God to be God is backing up the name. When the devil knows that you know what you are talking about, 
when the devil when, when the devil knows when the situation and circumstances know that you are calling the name with authority that you are calling the name with knowledge that you know that you know the power that is backing up that the name they are bound to to, to, to obey you most the majority of us, us we call the name ignorantly we don't know the power that it carries but then don't mistake about it everything that makes god to be god is backing up that name that's why i need to call him with authority whoever you are, i want you to shout the name jesus jesus hallelujah and finally number three have faith in the name have faith in the name acts chapter 3 verse 16 have faith in the name have faith in the name acts chapter 3 verse 16 the bible says this was peter when he was testifying of what god has done when he was explaining what god has done when he healed the lame man at the beautiful gate he said look we have not healed this man by our power we have not healed this man by our holiness he said and his name through faith in his name has made this man strong and his name through faith in his name has made this man strong whom you see and you know yeah the faith which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all that was the testimony of peter when we were testifying to the people that are surprised that marvel at the healing of the lame man at the beauty of the gates he told them look why look he so earnestly on us as though by our own power or holiness you have made this man walk he said no 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 it was jesus christ whom you whom you crucify it was jesus christ whom you delivered and denied in the presence of Pilate, when he was even determined to let him go it was through his name it was in his name that we healed this man so faith in the name of jesus work wonders brethren have faith in his name have faith that when you call the name heaven will respond to you mm. have faith that when you call the name jesus angels will obey I feel that when you call the name Jesus, doors will open. I feel that when you call the name Jesus, miracles will happen. And I'm believing God for you. As you begin to call the name Jesus, every door that be shut the gates will begin to open in the name of Jesus Christ. Every way that be shut unto you every ways that have been closed that you have been that have made you to be stranded as you call on his name tonight they will begin to open for you in the name of jesus christ remember what i said for you to be able to use this name effectively for this name to produce for you for this name to work for you, you need to belong to him. Yes, sir, you need to belong to him. Mommy and daddy, you need to belong to him. And we have the opportunity of doing so right now. So that when you begin to call the name Jesus, it will begin to work for you. It will not just be any, any, any ordinary name in your mouth. Because the name of Jesus is no ordinary name. There is a song that says, the name of Jesus is no, is no ordinary name. It is a name that is full of power and grace. That name, when you mention it, must come out with power in your mouth. And for that to happen, you must belong to Him. Wherever you are, you want to give your life to Him. In a minute, I want to pray with you. Just raise up here wherever you are.
and pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you. Thank you for your precious blood that is shed from the, on the cross of Calvary. Thank you for dying in my place. Thank you for paying the price even for my punishment. I appreciate you. Please accept my thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, I ask to know that the please have mercy upon me in the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon this your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Forgive them all their sins in the name of Jesus Christ. Wash them in your blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Write their names in the book of life in the name of Jesus Christ. The power to sin no more. Father, please give to everyone, even that have surrendered their life to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be thy holy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Congratulations. Hallelujah. Now, you cannot join us to pray. You cannot join us to call the name of Jesus. And the name will also work for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's begin our prayer. You just pray two more prayers. Philippians chapter 2, verse 10. Let's go back to it. Philippians chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Verse 9 says, for, so Wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. You are going to pray. Every knee opposing my breakthrough, every knee. Oppose my advancement. I command to bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Every knee oppose my breakthrough. Every knee oppose my advancement. I command to bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Every knee in my father's family. Every knee in my mother's family. Every knee in my in-laws family. Every knee in my community, in my environment. That is opposing my breakthrough. That is opposing my advancement. That is opposing my success. I command to bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I command to bow. I command to bow. Every knee opposing my breakthrough. Every knee opposing my success. Opposing my advancement. I command to bow in the name of Jesus Christ. I command to bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be thy holy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. You are going to pray. Say, Lord Jesus, as I mention your name, I command every close against me to open the name of Jesus Christ. As I shout your name, every close door against me I open in the name of Jesus Christ. As I shout the name Jesus. Every close against me, I command to open in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to open. I command you to open. I command you to open. Every close door against me, I command to open in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to open in the name of Jesus Christ. Every close door against me, I command you to open in the name of Jesus Christ. Every close door against me, I command you to open in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to open in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be thy holy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Two more prayers. One from here. And I will ask you to pray. Your own special prayer points. For your own special prayer requests. So you pray again. Say, Father. Put your wonderful name to work for me from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your wonderful name to work for me from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your wonderful name to work for me from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your wonderful name to work for me from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your wonderful name begin to work for me, begin to produce for me from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh yes, Lord. Let your wonderful name begin to work for me from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your wonderful name begin to produce for me from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Let your wonderful name begin to work for me from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your wonderful name begin to work for me from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Labos Kaye Baseke Boshataya. Thank you, my Father. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. And for a minute or two, I want you to pray for yourself. Just whatever request that you have, believe God. Even as He has said, whatsoever you ask in my name, that will I do. Any kind of mosabe, Allah for Allah, mosabe, Jesus for Allah, Allah for Allah, mosabe. Call on Him. Call on Him. Call on Him. He said we do it so that His Father will be glorified. Tell Him about that business. Tell Him about your marriage. Tell him about your wife. Tell him about your husband. Tell him about your children. Tell him about that project. Tell him about all those that still pl that that to plan for this year. That it appears that COVID nineteen has has turned everything upside down. Tell him. I'm believing God for you that something will still happen this year. Oh, thank you, sir. We give you glory, give you praise. Begin to bring your prayer to a close. Begin to bring your prayer to a close. And begin to thank him. Give him glory. Give him praise. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you. Thank you for this wonderful privilege you are giving unto us to, to fellowship with you tonight. Thank you for the wonderful privilege you are giving unto us to lay bare our petition before you. Father, we are grateful. I say by thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, I join my faith with the faith of every of these your children. Father, we don't know any other name. We don't have any, any other name. It is your name that we know. It is your name that we have. And it is this your name that we pray. Every of our prayers tonight answered by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every request of your children, every petitions of everyone that have participate in this fake clinic tonight. Please answer by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the wonders of your name from now begin to work wonders for us in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, from now on, let your name begin to answer for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name become potent more than ever before in our mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name become effective from now in our mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. That whenever we mention your name, whenever we call your name, let miracles happen in the name of Jesus Christ. Whenever we mention your name, whenever we call your name, let closed doors open in the name of Jesus Christ. Let ways open in the name of Jesus Christ. Whenever your name come out of our mouth, every demon that might be present wherever we are, let them begin to tremble in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Father, once again, every of our prayers tonight, turn them out to testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and Amen. Children of God, I congratulate you. I'm believing God that every prayers that we have prayed tonight in His name, He will answer by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. And we'll hear your testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. You are and God bless you.